Buenos ding dong diddly dios, pin friendarinos. <laughs> Hi, friends. Um, it is 30 ink 30 days again. What day are we? 17? Yes. Good job, Maria. We're doing, doing day 17. Um, I sat down. I have a lot of energy. Um, for you, it's a Monday. So I bet you're feeling just like this, right? Yeah. So I thought uh, I would show, start, uh, meh, meh, meh. Uh, the transcription stuff I've been doing. I don't know when last we saw it, but here's some of the pages. I think we saw it after Moon River. Aubergine. White Rabbit. See, this is pretty legible. You could see here where I primed it. Had to kind of continue to do so. This was like a bummer of a page. <laughs> I couldn't like compress it anyway. Pride and Prejudice. Sepia Schwartz with the um, vintage nib. Wistful Watermelon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It says at the bottom. Pumpkin Patch. Look at that shading. And then... Flapjack Octopus, no shading, just orange. Um, Peter Moss, Colossal Squid Dark, and Munglar. Let me tell you, this book is like is just so amusing to me. They want they already once made a. Uh, this is from the forties. Or 30s. Anyway, they already once made a bonfire to burn their trash in the backyard. And now, I have heard, ventured Judy, of destroying bad odor by burning paper or rags. Couldn't we try that? They're in the attic of their new house, okay? And then, um, she's like, no, I'll go get an old pail. So she gets the pail, and they look at some of the stuff. And then, and then, Peter strikes a match, touches to the papers that were stuffed in the bottom of the pail. Instantly, the flame shot almost to the roof. Help, cried Horace. Somebody's used this pail for kerosene. Quick, let's get out of here before we're burned alive. So, the brother's like, Look, this place is just going to burn down anyway. Let's peace out. Uh, Judy keeps her wits about her and t shoves an old wool coat inside the pail. And they survive. But it's just like, boy, was it a different time when high school kids were like, let's start a fire to burn our trash. Don't think that would happen today. Or oh, I never wrote that I inked this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. It's a funky start to the week so far for uh, Thingy. 30 inks. Um, here is the dried splat for Monglar. And look at how similar it is to um, Colossal Squid Dark. Uh, I don't have my light over here, but it's as bright as it's going to get. So that's fine. Anyway, this was lovely. Um, I like writing with it. Still have a little bit more of uh, the facing page to do, but we are moving on to a new week. Exciting. Um, here they are. Let's pick an ink. Our ink for today is Octopus Fluids Orange. Let's do this. Can't flip and wait. Mm -hmm. 
Let's find a pen for you, my dearest friend. You know what I should put it in? One of the ones I already cleaned. I cleaned a lot of pens. Like, most of the pens I used are clean again. It's, I think only four of them aren't. Also, wait. You know what pen was really tough to clean? This Walltown pen. This purple was really tough to clean. So I wonder if it was also like contaminated by some other color. What color, which pen? Did we do this one? We did, right? Let's have some tea while I think. I think I didn't do this pen. So there we go. Pen sorted. We'll do my Quebeco Sport and Frosted Coconut with a B. I'll have to get a cartridge. Buying a, another converter is on my list. I couldn't believe I forgot, to be honest. Well, let's be real. I can totally believe that I forgot. <laughs> too excited. So I think this is going to be very much like Flapjack Octopus Orange, which is not the same as Orange from Octopus Fluids. So if you were confused, fear not, so was I. Shouldn't need a lot here. That's kind of a lot. This just does not feel secure on there. And this is a Caveco cartridge. big problem. It's on there as best as it could be. Someone was asking me what I did with that Twisby to fill it. And the Twisby has a like hole here. So you can actually stick your syringe down in between the feed and the, the section. So I was putting a little bit of ink in there and then letting it saturate in. This is gonna take a while. <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do is dip this Perfect. Boom. Let's go. Sixteenth week. Better. Camera. Let's hope. Hope springs eternal, right, friends? I hope you're all hoping with me. I should have just aborted this attempt as soon as I realized I was having problems with the cartridge, but here we are. Octopus fluids orange. Um, Coico sport. 
frosted coconut. I have another sport now, so this one's a B. Thanks for the hope. It worked. We wrote. Now it's time to get splatty. Get splatty, girl. Get splatty. Okay. I, every day... I'm going to thank Manda for this habit. I write hashtag 30, 30 days at the top. No reason. Here we are. April 2023. Day 17. Ink. See, that one doesn't ever go well. Hair everywhere. Everything's a freaking tragedy with you, Maria. Um, <laughs> one of my favorite movie quotes. I, I wanted to say it all the time to my friend Donnie, but then I was like, what if he doesn't know that movie and he thinks I'm just, like, making social commentary about his life? That wouldn't be nice. Oh, move the tea. All in a row. It's fine. It doesn't have to be more. It's good right now. This one's jumping. Or upside down. It's it's falling and those are its legs and its little arm trying to catch but its head's already smashed. You don't want to be in this brain. Trust me. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so this was our delightfully not at all gruesome 30 inks, 30 days for April 17th. That's right. Inked. I like to know when I have put this in a pen. That's what that's about, in case I haven't mentioned it. So day 17. Octopus fluids orange. Covaco sport. <sighs> so excited to have an orange again. I mean, I was worried that they were done. You know, like, poof, can't have that happening. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that when you're watching this, you are having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.